Hey everybody, I'm John, I collect cards, and I um, wasn't expecting to do a video today, but I'm going to do a real quick one here. Um, I stopped by my local LCS on the way home from work today. Um, I don't know, I was just looking to pop in, it had been a couple of weeks actually since I was in there, so, so I usually look at their um, vintage case. Um, they actually have more comic books than sports cards in there, but they do have a decent sport uh, sport card collection. Um, and surprisingly decent for, um, fifties and sixties actually. Um, and so I, um, asked, um, I guess my, my, uh, my LCS buddy, I guess we could call him, uh, his name is Bill. Um, and I asked him if he had anything new out cause it'd been a couple weeks since I was in. And, um, he said, well, I got a few things, uh, I haven't marked up yet to put in the cap in the case yet. So, uh, so I almost, it was almost like a secret menu, I guess, at a restaurant uh, that he took out and showed me before he marked them up. Um, he showed me first a, a couple of 1962s that were poor condition. They were fillers. Of, uh, one was Duke Snyder. The other was Don Zimmer. And he wanted uh, five bucks for the Duke Snyder, but it was just not in great great condition to even have. And I don't like the 62 set very much, so I passed on that one. But then he showed me these other two he had, and I, I picked them both up, and I'm going to show them to you now. And judging from the cards that you see in, in front of you, um, you probably have a good idea of what sets they're from. So I'm going to start off with the with the kind of the rock solid one that I really enjoyed picking up here. It's from 1958 Tops, second year card of a Hall of Famer, an absolute legend, and probably undervalued in the hobby. And that is Frank Robinson. So I picked up a second year Frank Robinson card today, which I kind of like. I actually have, I don't have too many 1958s. I probably have about 15 or 20 singles um, that, um, it's not one of my favorites of the 50s, although the colors are kind of cool. Um, but I do have the one of him. It's like a red, uh, red like team or highlight card. It's got the manager and Frank Robinson and somebody else on it. I should have taken it out, but I didn't want to give it away potentially. So, um, in terms of who this was, but anyway, Frank Robinson and you know, I guess I'm guessing um, Bill just got these probably earlier today because he didn't even manage getting this out of the screw down holder yet. Um, so hopefully it comes out pretty good, pretty well, pretty clean. I'm guessing it will. Um, I paid 50 for this. Um, I think that was probably a fair price. Um, I will send this in to get graded at some point. I'm not sure if it'll be right away, but uh, maybe it will. Um, I'm hoping it would come out a four. The um, colors look pretty good. Paper loss looks minimal, actually. Um, the centering is a little off on both top and, and left right, but not like severely. Um, so I'm hoping this gets a four. Um, I'm going to send it into SGC. So when I put 30 bucks, you know, 30 bucks for this, it'll, I'll be 80 in for this card. And really that's about what I think of, I was sort of trying to comp fours, uh, for PSA, SGC, probably a little less, but, um, I think that would be in this ballpark. It's about, it's in about the 75 to 80 ballpark, I think, um, all in for a PSA four. Um, so I think I did okay. Actually, I just, I don't know, just, I thought it was a good opportunity and I do think like, Occasionally, collectors come around to players that are they realize they're undervalued, and I think Frank Robinson uh, is one of them. Um, he, um, I'm, his rookie card is, um, I don't know what his rookie card is going for in 57, but I know Brooks Robinson goes for a decent amount more, and that's probably because he's in the shorter print series in 57. But I have a feeling Frank Robinson, because he played for multiple teams, um, you know, he played primarily for the Reds and Orioles, but he did play for a couple of others near the end of his career. I have a feeling because he didn't play for just one team that has impacted his value over time. Um, but he is an absolute legend of baseball. So I was kind of excited to get his second year card for 50 bucks. And I, I'm hopeful it's going to grade a four, maybe three and a half. SGC does do half grades, um, a lot more than PSA does. So we'll see. But anyway, Frank Robinson, I'm kind of was kind of psyched to get this and so happy about this one so that's the first card and the second card he sold me um is kind of a it's not an oddball card but um it is a uh, a unique card especially here in michigan um where i am so you might know who i'm talking about here um you see three 1978 cards there from tops and fronts my all-time favorite set and well, one of them, I guess. It's my first set that I collected, so it's an, it's among the all-time faves for me. But um, 
Uh, a lot of you might know who might be watching this or if you eventually stumble on this. Um, uh, Tops did cards for Burger King. Um, and you know, lots of tie-ins and like that in, in 1978. I know I grew up in New York and I know there was a Yankee set that, at, uh, that you could get from 1978 tops. I remember seeing them around. I don't think I actually had one. I, for all I know, I might've, my brother and I may have had some, but, um, anyway, um, uh, Bill at my LCS, uh, showed me this and I snapped it up. Alan Trammell. This is like his Burger King Tops rookie, because as you surely know, uh, he shares a rookie card with Paul Molitor, uh, Mickey Klutz, and, oh gosh, for the life of me, I can't remember the fourth one. That's awful. I apologize for not remembering who the fourth one on the bottom right is. <laughs> UL Washington. That's who it is. It's UL Washington, I'm almost sure. Uh, so anyway, he's got, he's on the four-way. Uh, him and Lou Whitaker's on a four-way second baseman card. Jack Morris is on a four-way pitcher card from 1978. So the 78 Tigers Burger King set is always kind of uh, sought after. Um, and I don't have any of the other cards of it. I'm a Yankee fan, but, you know, I do live in Michigan, and I sort of quietly like like would like to see the Tigers do a little better. Um, but this is a cool card. Hall of Famer, Alan Trammell. Call it a real rookie, if you will. Um, it's not in great condition. I paid 20 for it. He offered 20. I didn't negotiate on either of these cards today. Um, um, occasionally we negotiate a little bit, but um, he knows I'm a pretty loyal customer, so he usually treats me pretty well. Um, and I think he probably would have put this in the cabinet for a good amount more than 20. Um, most, there's a small wrinkle in here that's really tough to see. Does not come through on the front. Um, and you really have to look closely. It does not even come in through really well here, I don't think. But it's it's somewhere over here. Um, but really slight wrinkle. I, th I think it's a wrinkle. I think it's probably a, it's either a deep scratch or it's a wrinkle. But um, these cards are going for, you know, at least on eBay comps that are raw, 40. You know, and for all I know, you know, that those pictures might have wrinkles in them too that are hard to pick up. So... Um, I think I got this for a halfway decent deal, but you know, I'm not sending this in to get graded. This is just kind of a keeper, a fun, a fun little rookie to have, um, for a hall of famer. So there you have it. Just wanted to show you two quick cards, two unexpected pickups today. Second year, Frank Robinson, 1958 tops. I really like this one and I do hope it comes back a four, um, but a three will be, you know, borderline acceptable, but it, it's at least a three, uh, has to be, um, and Alan Trammell, 78 Tops Burger King. So have a great Thursday night into Friday, and I'll uh, see you on the next video.